Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today with another video and this one's going to be a what's in my bag for my brand new bag which is the Chanel GST. I did do a reveal of this last week uh, so I thought it would be good to do a what's in my bag this week and here it is. I just got the black GST with the gold hardware. I do have my little charm here which is just this beautiful sparkly elephant with um pink fur ball which I love and I think it kind of just lightens the bag up and just makes it a bit younger. Um, so yeah, I've been using this for about 10 days and I am absolutely loving it. If you watch my reveal, you'll know that I wasn't 100% sure about this bag and I debated about it for a really, really long time. Um, but now that I have it, I just, I could not love it more. I will do a kind of mini review at the end of the video because I didn't really go into that um, in my reveal because obviously I hadn't used it yet. But um, having used it for like 10 days, I feel like I already have a, a pretty good opinion about how much I'm liking the bag. I obviously won't be able to say it about kind of wear and tear. Um, but yeah, I, I will give you my thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into the kind of what's in my bag part of this video, the main part. And I do, oh, I've chocked this bag full of stuff. You can just, I mean, I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but it's full of stuff. Um, I don't have anything in the back pocket here. Um, I never really use the back pockets for my Chanel bags. I don't really like to stretch them out, but... I also think with this bag it's just so unnecessary because you have so many pockets, um, which is what I love about it. So yeah, I'm going to go kind of pocket by pocket I guess and then um, just explain. So the first thing I have is my uh, agenda which is just this hot pink one from Smithsland. I bought this uh, earlier this year. I do love it um, but it is a little bit small for me. I mean. If you can see like there's really not a lot of writing space and um, I am someone who likes to use their agenda for everything so yeah I am gonna be switching it out I mean I do really like it I think it's really cute I just have you know space my business cards and, and a pen which came with it and I love how um, the pages are all kind of gold and I think it's so beautiful um, I really do like it but again it's just a bit too small for me so I am going to be getting a new one very very soon but um, for now I think I am going to keep hold of this one and just wait until I don't know I guess I have a slightly less high maintenance life and I don't need to write a gazillion things down um, but yeah I still think it's really cute and um, I love pink so <laughs> um, next I have my little pouch and um, this is just something I bought online recently. I think it's super cute. It just says, uh, I blog, WTF do you do? And um, yeah, I just thought it was really funny, really cute and really tongue in cheek. It's just a really kind of simple cotton pouch that I just use it for my hand cream and my hand sanitizer just so that there aren't any spillages. Uh, I'm currently using the Aveeno Active Naturals hand cream. Um, I usually use the Levera hand cream, which is an organic brand, um, but I was traveling and I needed a hand cream because I'd forgotten mine, but um, I am liking this. I think it's really good. Um, and then I also um, have the Kerex Complete Moisture Plus, plus um, Refreshing Hand Gel. And in terms of hand, hand sanitizers, I think this is the best one. It doesn't dry out your hands um, and it doesn't smell like the other ones do, so I really like that. Um, the only other thing in, I think, this section is my makeup bag, and this is from Mark by Marc Jacobs. I bought this the last time I was in California. I think it was from Macy's. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was from Macy's, um, and it was just on sale for like $55 or something like that. I thought it was a really good price, and what I love about this bag is that I mean, it's smushy for one, so you can fit it in even really structured bags because it will kind of mold. But also because of this opening, you can just fit ooh, like a ton of stuff in it. Like it just holds so much. Um, I do pretty much carry all of the makeup I use on a daily basis around with me. Not that I ever really touch up my makeup, but just in case I have to go to an event or, you know, I... I spontaneously arrange drinks or something I want to be able to have my makeup so I can kind of touch up or redo my makeup for a night out um, so I do like to have this with me I don't carry my foundation or anything like that but um, I will carry kind of my concealer and you know even my eyeshadow the one I'm currently using is the Cinderella one from um, MAC 
and this is amazing. I've used it pretty much every day since I bought it. I absolutely love it. Um, and I'll carry other things like, you know, my, my blush, which is just the hourglass one, and, and my lipstick and, and concealer and stuff like that. So, yeah, I think it's more of a comfort thing that I like to kind of have all my makeup with me. I rarely use any of it when I'm out. Um, but yeah, I just like to have it with me. Uh, so that's it for that section, if you can see that. Um, so on to this other section now, and I have my Kindle in this section, and this cover is just by Jonathan Adler, I think. Yeah, it's Jonathan Adler, and just housed my Kindle. Um, I actually love my Kindle, and yeah, I actually lost this on a recent flight. Um, I think it was Virgin Atlantic, and uh, they found it for me, and I managed to get it back. And so it's even more special to me now because, yeah, it was it was lost and now it's found, and it just makes me happy that I was able to reclaim that because I love my Kindle. Um, I really I can't imagine life without it now. So, um, and then I have my Tangle teaser which has hair in it which is really gross, I'm really sorry um, but this is just the travel one which has the kind of guard here so that it doesn't scratch up your stuff uh, I love Tangle teasers, I recommend them to everyone I know uh, I've got my mum hooked on them, I know I've got my friend hooked on them uh, I just think they're great and I think that the leopard print one is super cute I then have my sunnies which are just the Karen Walker sunnies I think these are really, really fun. Um, I really like them. I don't have a case, well, I do have a case for them, but um, I don't use it because the Karen Walker cases are absolutely ginormous. Um, and I just, I don't want to be toting that around. So I did have a kind of material case, but I think I lost that. So I just kind of fling them in my bag, which is really bad. And um, they are getting a bit scratched up. So um, I will have to buy a new case for those. Um, then I have my earphones, which are just the Yearbud earphones, which I think are specially designed for women, if I'm not mistaken. But I really like them because they fit really well. They don't really slip out because of this kind of rubberized feel. Um, and they come in really cute, fun colours, so I get to have pink headphones, which I enjoy. Uh, I also just have a clip in case I want to clip my hair back. And then I also have my wallet, which is the Louis Vuitton Insolite wallet. And this is from the Locks and Trunks collection, which is why it has that little illustration right there. And one thing that I absolutely love about it is that it has this beautiful kind of striped lining. And I just think it's so elegant and chic and I get so many compliments on it when I'm out. And yeah, this, I mean, I've been using this about a year or a year and a half and I mean, it still looks pretty much brand new. I think it's in fantastic condition and I just love Louis Vuitton SRGs for that reason. I think they're completely instructable. So I love this wallet. And then I think that's it for the main compartments except for one thing, which is my Louis Vuitton key pouch. And this is the um, this in the Venet in the color Rose Lychee. Um, I haven't mentioned this in a video but I did do a blog post on it so if you are interested then I will link that below but I absolutely love this key pouch, it's super fun, I love how bright it is, I also love the fact that I can attach it to my GST, I mean it doesn't really provide any extra functionality but I just, I think that's really cool, I really like it and in here I just carry um, some extra business cards and, um, and keys to my boyfriend's flat and things like that so yeah I really really like that. And then apart from that, I don't keep anything in um, this kind of open pocket here, but I do in the zipper pocket right there. I do keep um, I do keep my passport. Uh, I don't drive, so um, I do need this for ID. I still get ID'd occasionally when I'm out or, or buying a, a bottle of wine, uh, so I, I do need this. Um, and this is just in a little cat kit and cover with, with some birds, so I always keep that in the zipped pocket because I don't want to lose it. Um, and then in the middle pocket, I don't always um, keep it zipped. I should do because the things I keep in there, I really don't want to lose. Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to lose any of my stuff, but I particularly don't want to lose these things. Um, but I don't because I'm a bit lazy, but I mean, I, I do try. I just have my phone in here, which is the iPhone uh, 6, I believe. And I just have this really kind of cute uh, glitter cover, which I really like. 
And then I have some eye drops because I wear contact lenses so my eyes do get a bit dry from time to time. I have my office keys, um, which, you know, very essential for going to work. And then I also just have some gum. I have some keys for my apartment. Um, I also have a Waitrose, I think, loyalty card, but I don't even think I get points with them, so I'm not even sure why I continue to use it. And I also have this lip balm, which is called Slay Noir. And um, this is just the most amazing lip balm. It's just, it smells amazing. It smells of vanilla or cocoa butter. Um, and it's just, it's so moisturising. I think it's like a skiing lip balm because it has SPF. Um, it's really difficult to find. And when I saw it on Amazon, I think at Christmas, I ordered like 20 tubes because the shipping was kind of high. So I was like, I'm just going to order 20 and then I'll be like set for the next five years. So um, yeah, I love that. And I always, always lose lip balms. I don't know how. I buy like hundreds of them, I swear. And I can just never seem to find one. So I rarely lose my keys. So this is ingenious that I actually have a lip balm attached to my keys. And then the last thing is just my um, travel card holder. This is also from Smithson, same place as um, my agenda. And I also have some business cards in here. It's not the best for business cards because it's um, not only does it not fit many, but um, it's also very difficult to get them in and out. Uh, so I only tend to keep a few in there and then I will keep extra supplies uh, in my agenda and in my key pouch. Um, but it, it's good for one or two. And then obviously my... Um, my travel card as well so yeah and that is it we are empty there's nothing else in there um in terms of ooh, we have a tangled situation oh it's fine um in terms of how much I'm liking the bag as I said I am really enjoying it way more than I thought I would I think it's very functional it's not very heavy um which is what I like it's also, I, I just cannot rave enough about how good the compartments are. I mean, I've been using my Louis Vuitton Neverfull for work for the past, I think it's almost been two years. And I mean, I love it, but I can never find anything in it. So the fact that I just have really neat compartments, you know, I know I always put my phone and my travel card in the middle pocket and it's just made my life so much easier. I just, oh, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, what else is there to say about this bag? I was worried about the handle slipping off and they do slip off, but not as bad as I thought they would. Um, they do stay on better than I thought. And I also enjoy carry it, carrying it um, by hand and on the crook of my arm. I didn't think I would because I always thought of this really strictly as a shoulder bag, but I think because of these handles, it's actually very, very comfortable to carry by hand. So um, I kind of carry it all different ways. So. The shoulder thing really hasn't bothered me. It hasn't really become a nuisance at all. Um, yeah, the only thing is that, I mean, even, I don't know whether you tell, but even when I kind of hold it like that, it kind of smushes in. So if you did load it down like this on a daily basis, I think it would start to lose its shape very, very quickly. Um, I don't carry all of this stuff every time I go to work. I do try and economize because I do want to protect the bag and also to give my poor shoulder a rest. Um, but that is something to keep in mind that you can't overload it because it will lose its structure way more so than the jumbo. I mean, I don't want to say this is bad quality because I don't think it is, but you can definitely tell the quality difference, in my opinion, from the jumbo to this. It just doesn't feel as sturdy, um, which I knew going in, I knew it would lose its shape more. Um, but yeah, you do kind of feel the difference. Um, that said, I still think for the price in Chanel world, I think it's it's very, very decent value for money. Um, and I absolutely love it. I think it's a really kind of good work bag for every day. It's very functional. It looks very chic and presentable. And... Um, yeah, I'm just really liking it. It's, all, it's also like very low maintenance, like I can just wipe it clean if anything gets on it. And um, yeah, I am very much in love with that at the moment. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please do leave me a comment if you do have any questions or just comments in general. Um, please do also subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.